Hey everyone, it's Jeanette. So just wanted to quickly do this video and share with you guys um, some quick halsies. Um, but before I get started, just want to let you guys know if you are local, because I know I had done a haul video. When I had done my haul videos, I had gotten like private messages and whatnot of um, a few, like I believe two, two locals that uh, I guess missed the sale. And um, so again, I'm going to just repeat myself and hopefully... <laughs> um, you guys, yeah, so there's a sale gonna like a yard sale that's gonna happen at a new local scrapbook store that I guess I've never been to. Yes, it's so funny. Um, it is located here in Cumming, Georgia. So, yeah, it's this Saturday, and hopefully, everything goes good and it does not rain because it's literally been raining all week. And, um, and yeah, so Saturday. I believe it's from 10 to 3 or 10 to 4. Um, again, the store is called EMI Scrapbooking. And it's located here in Cumming, Georgia. Well, it's like a little bit, obviously, farther than where I live. But um, it's here in Georgia. And again, um, uh, you guys can find them on Facebook and Instagram and whatnot. Um and yeah that was just something random that i wanted to like obviously um say just because if you're local you guys should definitely check it out um and uh yeah so these quick halsies are just random um i've been like seriously preparing for that sale that i have like just put everything on my desk and it's just crazy mess but um yeah, it's just a few things. <coughs> okay, so first off, my stamp from the Greeting Farm, which is the super secret stamp <coughs> number 16, which is this one here. She is called Hip, and I'm sure you guys have all seen her. Everyone um, has already <laughs> literally shared. Um, <coughs> And this was like a while back. I went to Michael's and they had a couple of things that were 40% off, um, which these Heidi Swap goodies, I know everybody has shared. Um, I only picked up just a few. These, um, they're like little two by two cards and then, um, the little, um, uh, photo frames. And then I picked up this, <laughs> what size is it? Yeah. Six by eight, um, paper pad. I literally, when I opened the 12 by 12 I noticed um, that it was so flimsy. I don't know. I'm just, like, I don't know. I can't explain myself. I was not happy with the 12 by 12 But, um, but yeah. And then these recollection doilies. Just picked these up. They're, like, different colors, which is such a good thing because it comes with 60 and there's three separate colors. So, yeah. <coughs> and then I just, um... Got some film for my Instax. And it's such a bummer. My local only carries, like, I mean, no, they carry the white um, bordered. But every time I want to go and pick up um, the white, they never have it. And it's such a bummer. But, um, yeah, so the other day I also went to my goals. This was probably, like, earlier in the week. Um, I wanted to, like, my local does not have the 12 by 12 which is such a huge bummer. Um... I know, oh my gosh, Diane, I believe, had asked me how I store my 12x12 12 12 layouts, which I will share that, like, quickly. Um, I literally store them in my iris cases, and um, hopefully I will, or <coughs> after this video, I'll just stop and um, share how I store my 12x12 12 12 right now. But, obviously, I want to store them in these Project Life, um, you know, um, page protectors and then in my 12 by 12 albums um but again you know like i don't have any so that's why i had to pick these up and then um i'm just going to continue with my goals um they had um their 12 by 12 albums 60 percent off or i guess all albums were 60 percent off and I guess these came out to ten dollars, like nine ninety nine, and which is so funny. 
because I hardly ever, I only have one of the Becky Higgins, um, sorry about the crinkling, um, I only have one other one, and it's the camera one, but I decided to pick up this one here, which is like a colorful chevron pattern, and then this striped one, the black and white, and again, they were, <laughs> I know that the sale's still going on, and they're still 60% off right now, which is an amazing deal, like $10, like literally you pay two for the price of one, um, so I definitely had to pick that up, um, some randomness, which was, um, <clears throat> from eBay, which is so funny, I have been on the hunt, because <laughs> American Crafts has this tape runner, which I totally love, because of course it's pink, and, um, and yeah, it's such a bummer, like, on their site, like, this little packet is, like, $10. And I'm just like, whoa. I know um, Marshalls and Ross had these for, like, $4, and I totally missed a ton of these. But, um, yeah, I'm rambling. And then Tuesday morning had them a while back, which I looked at my Tuesday mornings, and I never, ever picked it up. But, okay, I'm rambling. Um, it's these tape runners here, this called the this to that um <coughs> tape runner and um yeah i found this on ebay for i think eight dollars seven something and it's not bad i mean it doesn't beat the four dollars from um ross and marshall's but and i don't live close to like where is the warehouse where they have their warehouse i would totally like stock up on their like adhesive but such a bummer um and then <coughs> this is the one that tuesday morning had like a while back and should have literally opened this um <clears throat> and i actually found this on ebay as well and <coughs> i know tuesday morning had this for i believe ten dollars or 12.99 and i never picked it up and why i don't know but it's like the entire pack and like i literally went to all my tuesday mornings and they don't have it and i was able to find it on ebay and it was um 14.99 shipped so that wasn't a bad deal so that was just the randomness i know i shouldn't be looking on ebay or anything right but i just had to see if <laughs> if there were some in there and then so that was that, my randomness of a haul. Um, and then everyone that I know seriously on Facebook and Instagram have been posting all the goodies that they've been finding on at Tuesday morning, including that die cutting machine, which by the way, I do not need. Um, but it was so funny how <laughs> I literally do not need it. I have a Cuddlebug, the Sizzix Pink Texture Boutique, I have my Hello Kitty Sizzix die cutting machine, the little sidekick, a big kick, oh my gosh, it like can go on. And I have the, the Grand Caliber, which I won, but like I do not need any more. But it was so cute, I just had to go see if they had it. And mine, I'm sure there was a reason why it was not there. And um... <laughs> Again, so sorry about the crinkling, guys. I should have taken this out. I know some people hate this. Um, but the only thing I picked up was this 12 by 12. It's like in a grayish tone. And I just picked it up for the matting. Sorry. These, this was $1.99. And I thought it was American Crafts. Um, car stock, but apparently it's not, it doesn't have like a brand. Um, but when I opened it up, I thought the, um, the quality was very, very good. So, and then I was able to find this Chamel, um, uh, 12 by 12, which I know it's not new, but hey, for that price, totally couldn't pass it up. And I know that they had other tons 12 by 12, but I totally own them all and I did not need any more of that. Um, and then I just picked up these 6x6 basic gray ones, this one which is called Capture, and then this one which is a Kelly Perky one, which I don't know. 
And um, and then these dies. I totally had to pick up this artist trading cards one. It's so funny. Because um, I saw, I heard that um, you can use these for your pocket letters, which I totally want to give it a try. And then I just picked up these um, like roller decks cards, which I totally own already, like some dies. But I liked that these had like different, um, like you can totally add these to the top of the die, if that makes sense. Um, and they had a ton of other Spellbinder dies, but I totally don't need any more. And, so random, sorry. And the last thing I picked up were all these little itty bitty um, acrylic pink daubers, which again, I don't need a ton, but they were a dollar. 49 and like why not I saw the 12 by 12 from the Chamel line and so many of these colors like totally match and I got inspired and I was like oh what the heck um so just random picked this uh salmon color and then this uh terracotta this lake mist <laughs> um sunset orange this purple twilight, which hopefully I don't own any of these. I'm pretty sure I probably own one or two. This hazelnut here. And then this one, which is called lettuce. Again, that was my randomness of the haul. Um, and I guess I will be <coughs> right back to share with you guys um, how I store my 12 by 12. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, so I'm back. Okay, so um, I have gotten a question again of how I store my 12 by 12 layouts. And literally, this is how I'm storing them um, in just this iris case. And, <clears throat> I mean, it works for me now, but of course, eventually, I'm going to be putting them in um, in a 12 by 12 album. And that's the reason <coughs> why, I, um, why I got that one, um, those albums and those... Um, <coughs> those uh page protectors sorry and I totally like it was so funny I just realized that the 12 by 12 were actually not ten dollars they were actually they came up to <laughs> less than that because they were 60% off normally it, they're what um $19.99 so yeah so again this is how <laughs> I'm storing my layouts um just here in these uh in this iris case and I know that these are like there's like some super duper old ones that <coughs> you probably I probably did not share or not but or whatnot but um but yeah this is how I'm storing them now um there's no like rhyme or reason on how they're like um how I have them or how I'm gonna be putting them in an album like it's just how I put them and that's that um but yeah, um, again, I think it was Diane. I totally don't know your YouTube out of the top of my head. But this is how I store them in these iris cases and <coughs> for now. And yeah, that is it. Hopefully you guys sticked around. And yeah, thanks so much for watching, everyone. Bye.